Okay, today is May 8th, um, 2022. It is Sunday. And yesterday, I was doing this little SVG thing, um, drawing, and I said that I couldn't do arms because I didn't know how to rotate, but I just realized that yesterday, um, in the video, there was some tag, the path tag, that he introduced and that I didn't, um, use. I completely forgot about it, which I could use to make arms. So, that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna use the path tag, and I'm gonna do it, um, it should be before the body rectangle which i think it's this one let me see i should have commented this to make it yeah it's that one okay so before this rectangle so it, it's um below it we're gonna do a path tag um let me just get that out so then in here um i'm gonna do d so it stands for domain and then move to I think I'm going to save 350 because I want to start at X350 because the circle is, let's say the circle is 3, no, the, the center of the circle is 300, then to the right is 350, so I want to start at 350, but I want it to start at the Y of maybe 400, um, oh, it's supposed to be in quotation, so M350, so move to 350, 400 to be the first point, and then... Um, new line, so L for line, and then I want another point to be maybe a little bit, if I want it to be rotated or slanted, I'll do like 370, but then with a Y coordinate could be maybe 500, and I'll see what that looks like. And then I think if you do stroke and maybe to make it black, it'll appear. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of what I want. Um, but I want it a little bit thicker, so maybe stroke width, and we'll do, um, 10. Okay, um, and so I want it a little bit more up, so I'll do, like, 300 and see if that works. Um, 350, 300. Let's do 350, 350. Yeah, right there, that's perfect. Okay, and then I'll copy this to do the left arm. So I'll make this, I'll call this left arm. And I'll call this right arm. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, left arm. Okay, so I want to rotate it. I don't know how to do this. So how do I change this? So I need it to be, let's say, if the radius, so 250, 250. Um, and then new line, three, three, fifty, five hundred, so two fifty, three fifty, so bring it downwards, and then not five, not three fifty, but let's do like one fifty, so new line one fifty, so it starts a little bit later, or ends like that, yeah, so um, maybe a little bit more proportional, <laughs> um, so maybe we can move it, like, 255 to the right. Okay, that works, I guess. I mean, I guess it works, we don't have to have it perfect, I mean, it could be, like, that the person is pointing towards something. Um, okay, well, I guess that works, that's cool. So, basically, um, you can stop watching now. I mean, not that you would watch. Okay, literally, I don't know why I say that, because it's, these are just vlogs. I just have these for myself, but um, to reference later. But this is the end of it, but I wanted to just kind of explain a little bit more on how this works. So I'm going to take a screenshot, and I'm just going to save it. Um, I'm going to call it um, 5, what's today's date? 8-22 um, SVG. And then I'm going to try to open it over here. Okay, so I'm going to try to explain what just happened here. If I were to lock this, and then let me upload my tablet. Upload. Did I just say upload my tablet? I meant connect my tablet. 
All right, so um, to explain what just happened in this case, we're basically in a path. We're telling... Let me do like a light color, like green. Actually, the thing is green, so maybe yellow, orange, orange. Okay. Um, so we have our path, and in our path, we start with one point. So you can think of like a coordinate plane and how you have, you know, your X and then your Y. Well, this would be 350, 350. So you're saying move to 350, 350. So this would be um, actually 350, 350 and then make a new point to 370, 350, 350. Oh no, this is 225. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, we did this one first. This one is the right arm. So um, this is the arm we're talking about right now. So we started at 350, 350. So note that the center of the circle, well, let me start with this. So this is zero. And then from here to here, I gave it a, a width of 600. Why is it not? 600. And then over here, it's 600 too. So from here to here is 600. And then from here to here, whoa. From here to here is 600. So um, I gave the circle right here a center of 300, 300. And I gave it a radius of 50, meaning from here to here um, is uh, 350. And then from here to here is 250. So that's how I kind of coordinated myself. So I started with the right arm. So I said, okay, I want you to start at 350. So it started here on the x-axis, and then I want you to start at 350 on the y, which is also, you know, 350 in both ways, because this is 300 in both ways in the x and the y. Um, so it starts at 350, 350, and then it makes a new point, um, 37500. So 37500 would be a little bit over here, right? Like over here, this would be 370. And then 500, right, in the y-axis would be over here. Because note that this is 600, which makes sense, right? So um, this is our new point. And what we're, what we're basically doing is we're saying, okay, here is 350, 350. Here is 5, um, what was it, 3, 37,500. Draw a line between these two points, and that's what it does. So it makes this line over here, Okay. Um, and then, talking about the other point, so again, we have 0, and then it has a width of 600, and then 0, 600. Again, the center is 300, 300, um, and then from here to here is, we had a radius of 50, meaning, you know, radius is half of a circle, so that means that over here is 350. And over here is 250. And then if you take a look at the y-axis, I can't draw a straight line. Okay, so this is our left arm, which is right here. So we start at, so we say make a point at 255, 350. So 255, 350. So that's, if this is 250, then 255 yeah, I moved a little bit over here. That's why you can see a little bit over here. But 255 would be really close, like over here. So that would be 255. So it would start kind of over here, right? And then 350, which makes sense because we wanted to start at the same, in the same, um, what do you call it? The same Y, because this is the Y axis, this is the X axis. So we wanted to start at the same Y point, which is 350. So they both start at, um, over here, 255. 350 they have the same y point and over here they start at 350 350 x y x y and then we tell it to go to 150 500 so 150 would obviously be like over here right so actually let me get rid of this so 150, if you extend the line, 150 is kind of over here, right? This is 150 in the x-axis. 
Um, so you start at 150 and you're telling it to make a point um, 150, 500, which is the same place over here in the y-axis, right? This is 500 over here, which makes sense, right? Goes 500, 500. So again, this point is 150, 500, your x and your y, right? x 150 and then y 500, so it goes all the way down. And then for this one, you have um, 370, 500. So it's a little bit more to the um, right. So 370 should be about here, 370. And then we have this point, which is 350, 350, right? Instead, 350, 350. And then this point is 255. 350 and that's basically how you work with paths you basically give it two points and wherever those points it are they draw a line between those points so the points can be here one point can be here draw a line one point can be here one point can be here draw a line one point can be here one here it could draw a line that's what paths are and that's a diff well and then so what you might say what's the difference between um, a line um, and a path. Well, a path, you can draw any two points, which will tell you, you know, will kind of make it like, make it seem like they're slanted. Um, in a line, you can only draw like, that's it. Like, those are the only lines you could draw. Um, it's just straight lines. Um, because I believe you give it x1, y1, and then x2, y2. And then I believe that those, those are the points that you could do. But I think that that's the only thing you can do. Actually, I'm sorry. I think in a line, you can do slants, right? Because if you do x1, y2, just kind of like this. Um, the only thing is that you can only do one of these. But with paths, you can continue. You can say, okay, do another line of, let's say, um, three, like start at 370. And uh, well, actually, hold on. We could start at 370. Yeah, we could start at 370 and end at, um, I don't know, over here, 300. So that would be kind of like doing this. So then the line would kind of look like this, like a tr upside down triangle. So that the new line would look like that because right, 370 starts at here and then 300 is over here on the Y axis. So that's where the new line would be over here. Um, so that's a path and you wouldn't be able to do this with the line because the line only takes two um, coordinates while a path takes multiple coordinates, um, but in a different way, so in a domain language. Yeah, so anyway, that's it. Hopefully, I understand that when I watch this video in a couple weeks. <laughs> um, and hopefully, I don't have to watch the video because I'll know what I'm talking about if I actually learned this correctly. Um, okay, I think that's it, right? I think that's it. So yeah, we made arms, so let me save that. Um, okay, bye.